Our car is right over there. We're in a maze 35. Sunday morning. Look at this primo parking spot. And We're there's like zero clouds. There's zero clouds. It's only 67, so it feels phenomenal. Yeah. We're basically preferred parking because that is preferred parking. This is the exact same distance from the gate, but the other side. We were here all day yesterday. And we walk in, and this is what the first thing Sarah notices. They do look amazing in the morning sun. But she's like, look at these yellow trees. I don't think I've ever seen these yellow trees before. Are those flowers or leaves? I think they're, yeah, they're definitely flowers. So we probably see this tree all the time. It's probably just not bloomed. Oh, just around the corner from? Flower and Garden. There you go. I think Flower and Garden is going to rock. Sarah's pessimistic about it, but... Don't say that. All I said was it's not my favorite festival. Someone has to be the unfavorite. <laughs> this is kind of a tease. We're going to get coffee first, but we're not going to get actual food from sun Sunshine Seasons. So good smelling in here. But we're going to meet up with Jordan and Robert to go in Soren. And I was just jonesing for this yesterday. It's perfect. joined our friends. They have a big group from their church in Atlanta. They had fast classes and obviously we don't have them to match. But I just, one, I just got this coffee and I can't bring that on Spaceship Earth. And then the cast move was nice and let Sarah go on with them. So I'm actually gonna, while waiting for I'm gonna try to see if I can get any of the cool games here because we've never actually stopped and like played these games. So I'm gonna see if I can get it, sneak into one of these games and play it in between some guests. All right, here I got a memory evaluation, which is like Simon says. Now it's your turn. Ready? Begin. Here we are. We said bye to our friends Jordan and Robert, and here is the uh, the line for the, the mean greet for Paige O'Hara. Look at this a girl in. A bell with Disney bound. Oh, Look at that. That's actually not that. I don't. I, they probably cut it off, but that's not that bad of a line to meet her. Cool. We're going home. You didn't know she is the voice of Belle. Yes, and she's also an artiste. Cool. We're gonna get a, a one little thing at Club Cool, and then we're going home because we gotta spend some time with Eve before we go back to Magic Kingdom tonight to watch our friends march down Main Street. Back in the Magic Kingdom. Yay! We feel like it's been a while. I think it's because we hit it like two, three, or four days uh, like consecutively for a while, and then we didn't go back there for a while. So right. now it's like, let's get some Excited. MK. I have some major fast passes. We got all three mountains. Three mountains. The full range. We're meeting up with Jill, and then we're gonna watch the marching band perform, and then we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the night. It's open until midnight. Getting late again. When has that happened gotta in a very it. long time? Gotta love it. I gotta say, it's one thing how energizing it is to walk into the Magic Kingdom. It's a whole nother thing about how energizing it is when you walk down Main Street to find Boo Boo Shake and Celebrate it. with us. Hi. She's back. We're just going around enjoying enjoying the night. Yeah, look at this construction. They're dream building. This has never happened before. We're walking in, no wait, into a country bread jamboree. After you, Jill. Look at that. So excited. Always a good show. We got scared. 
Splash Mountain went down. We got the email notification saying it's down. But patience is a virtue. Because it's back on. We got Jill, we got Sarah, and I got my own spot. And it's the back row. I tell you, this show never gets old, and you can watch it from any angle at any time. We're going to walk Jill out because she's got to go see Black Panther, and we're gonna finish the mountain ranges. If you ever get a chance to like quote unquote waste your fireworks, I highly suggest it one time in your life to during the fireworks walk from like Frontierland all the way to Tomorrowland and you'll just experience like the overwhelming like chaos but awesomeness of the fireworks like going off around you and people who know them singing along and walking through it and people who don't realize they're going on stopping and being like, oh my god, it is an experience. Where is she? Where is she? Are we gonna miss her? There she is! There's Tinkerbell! Okay, we have 30 minutes until our fast passes for the rest of the mountains. We might as well wait in Tomorrowland and get some people moved on. So we had to wait an hour and a half for our last fast pass for uh, what's that mountain called? Big Thunder Mountain. <laughs> and so we just literally sat by like the exit of Adventureland towards the hub to look at the beautiful castle. Yeah. And Sarah pointed out that we realized that we've been in Magic Kingdom for a good portion of the evening. I just said Porsche instead of portion. <laughs> Sorry for that. And she points out we haven't been to Adventureland, so I specifically said we have to go this way. To adventure or to Big Thunder Mountain, so we don't go to Adventureland. You know what? If you did not wear your backpack 24/7, I would jump on your back constantly in the park. So you're lucky. 
Why are we going this way? Because the other way. <laughs> I'm excited because I didn't realize that I had. In the Christmas store. I didn't realize I hadn't been wearing my ears, and I literally wore them all the time during the college program, and you're gonna start seeing them on me all the time, because I need to wear them. So I heard from a cast member that this is the wildest ride in the wilderness, and it's also the last mountain of the range. Sure what's this, do you know what this night. one's called? What do you mean? Like what's the mountain called? Like Space Mountain, Space Mountain, oh. Splash Mountains, what, Chickapin, Pikachin? Chickapin Hill. Chickapin Hill. I wonder, let's see. let's see if we can find it. But yeah, this is the last ride of the night. We're going home after this. Got a big day tomorrow. I feel like it's more like the mine probably has I'm upset there supposed to, there used to be a TV show that was gonna happen because of this. Yeah. Like based around the story of the mine and the mining company that never actually ended up happening on ABC. Yeah. I wish it did. those beautiful flowers back there. It has been like a long day. Yeah. When we went home to hang out with Eve, we did take a little snooze on the couch. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like it's been like a, almost like a full park day. Yeah. But we took like a five, six hour intermission. Thank you for watching today. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We do a lot of interacting on there. So yeah, be sure to go on like there. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>